uh, for this event today. So please do acknowledge on your end that you see our recordings and we ask that uh, for the duration of the event that you um, go ahead and mute yourselves uh, just so that we can honor the speakers um, that will be recognizing our students today. So hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we send you greetings on behalf of the Block, the Black Leadership and Opportunity Center. Um, and you have just joined our virtual 2021 celebration of Black excellence. Uh, so, so happy to have you all here at our second annual event. Um, and I give you greetings. My name is Emerald Green. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I'm serving as the program director for the Black Leadership and Opportunity Center, also known as the Block. And I'm here and joined today in hosting this program with our peer success ambassador, uh, Winnie Fred Achenpong. Are you here today, Winnie Fred? What's up? How you doing? Hello, everyone. Hi, I'm so excited for this event. As Emerald said, I'm Winnie Fred. Um, I'm a junior here at San Jose State. Um, I'm studying advertising with a concentration in marketing and communications. Um, and yeah, thank you guys all for coming. I'm so excited and looking forward to this program tonight as we celebrate, you know, community and all the work we put in this academic school year. So um, let's go ahead and get on to this program. Thanks, Winnie Fred, for being here. And Armani is in here in the background. Shout out to Armani. Thank you for all that you do and for being here. Next slide. So we're gonna share a little bit about who we are. I know some folks are in the building already virtually and you know a little bit about, about the block, but we wanna just be here and center who we are and our mission. Um, so we um, are um, a student success center really uh, charged with serving holistically and empowering and uplifting the Black Spartan community here at San Jose State. Um, and we do this in a couple different ways. Um, so culturally, uh, through leadership programs, uh, through the student development, development and enhancement um, through providing social and academic support. Um, and we hope that we are uh, doing this with the lens of Ubuntu, an African proverb that uh, really means I am because we are. We know that we don't do this work in silo. Um, so we're gonna share a little bit more about who is on our team. And we have invited a couple of folks in today to help recognize themselves and other students in our community. Um, just so you know that Ubuntu is really strong here at San Jose State. Um, and we hope that uh, our community uh, is, is showing um, that it's intersectional um, in terms of the diaspora and that we're meeting the needs of all of our students that we're here to serve. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of the block in the small and large ways that you uh, might have engaged with us this academic year. And we're happy to tell you um, and in, invite some folks to tell you where we've been this year and who we wanna uh, highlight in terms of their engagement and involvement. So what is the celebration of Black excellence? So this is in our second annual year, and it's really a program designed to acknowledge and recognize the accomplishments of the Black and African-American Spartan community. Um, and we do this both academically and as well as identifying and acknowledging our student leaders. Um, and so we've invited uh, faculty, staff, community members, folks that we believe have been integral in the success of Black and African-American students, um, but also in supporting our office. And so we're really excited to have you all here to share a little bit more um, and celebrate. It's all about us. It's all about us expressing Black joy, joy and honoring uh, those of us that have been here through the pandemic, that have been here through the racial and civil unrest of the year. So this hopefully is a time for all of us to just be um, and to, to be in community and to live in this moment together where we're highlighting and acknowledging all of the Black excellence that's here this evening. So thank you for joining us. I'm going to pass it to Winnie Fred. Thank you so much, Emerald, for that. Um, I'm now going to give it to the department chair of the African American Studies Department, uh, Dr. Travis Boyce, to share the graduating senior awards. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Travis Boyce, and I am thrilled to be the Department Chair of African American Studies here at San Jose State University. Um, I just completed my first year, so for all you first-year students, um, I'm there with you. So in the next four years, I hope to see some of you all um, in the coming years. Um, I want to just read a little bit about, and next slide, I would like to read a little bit about our department. And then finally, we will uh, reward, uh, I will recognize our students. 
So the Department of African American Studies aims to provide students throughout the university with critical interdisciplinary and specialized knowledge about African and African American populations and its communities. Our curriculum, programming, and scholarship examines, explores, and engages the intellectual traditions within the African diaspora from multiple perspectives, historical, cultural, philosophical, political, social, and theoretical in the service to the students in our society. Our department, African American Studies, is in a growing phase. And again, for, uh, you know, I wish our stu outgoing students very well, but for you current students at San Jose State University, you do have a home here in the Department of African American Studies. And I'm happy to share that um, we are offering new classes uh, beginning next year. Uh, for example, uh, AFM 162, The Aesthetics of Hip Hop. Um, beginning fall 2022, we will be offering a new major where you can earn a master's degree on top of it, a master's of art and teaching. So be on the lookout for that. However, on that note, let's recognize our two graduating seniors. The Department of African American Studies is pleased to recognize um, first, Ms. Taylor Adams Booker, and our second awardee, uh, Mr. Imani Kumba. Now, I would like to read, just spend um, about another minute just reading from a faculty member that uh, wrote outstanding um, bios uh, on these two graduate these two graduating seniors. And one second here, let me pull it up. Okay, Dr. Frank Ortega, uh, who is a, a lecturer in African American studies and referencing Ms. Taylor Booker noted that Ms. Booker can quickly synthesize scholarship and link it to real world scenarios. Her ability to make personal connections to empirical findings and theoretical concepts enhances course dialogue and creates a broader understanding. Imani Kunda adds to the richness of the class discussion by adding uh, personal examples, asking relevant questions, and providing insightful analysis. We are grateful for his experience, uh, for his presence, experiences, and profound knowledge he brings to the classroom. So once again, everyone, please congratulate Ms. Taylor Adams Booker and Mr. Imani Kumba our outstanding graduating seniors in African-American studies. Thank you, thank you, uh, Travis, so much for, for not only joining us um, here in this event, um, but also sharing the African-American Studies Department scholars with us. And we're so excited to be able to recognize both Taylor and Imani in this event. So thank you for joining us. Okay, so Armani and I are gonna get into block programming recognition for the 2021 academic year. And we're gonna start off with highlighting our peer success, success ambassadors. Um, you all, if you've come to any block programming, if you've been at any yield event that we've held, you know that our peer success ambassadors are at the forefront of the work that we're doing here at the block. And uh, we're very thankful and in gratitude for uh, the students that joined us this year for the 2021 academic uh, semester. So Armani, go ahead and go to that slide so we can share a little bit more about who these young people are. And so y'all might know some of these folks, they might be your friends and I'm just gonna shout them out. Adriana, Ariane, Carter and Jeffrey. Thank you, thank you so much for your service and, and your support in serving black students and black Spartans. Um, thank you for allowing uh, Armani and I to be a part of your journey. Shout out Jocelyn, shout out Malik, shout out Stephanie. And of course y'all know Winnie Fred, she's here with us today. These amazing folks uh, continue to keep the block afloat. Uh, they've been here along the way. And um, if you're on our social media, if you're getting phone calls from students, it's because of our PSAs. If you're watching any of our programs on live, um, know that th they're at the heart of what we do and we can't thank you all enough for joining us this academic year. So shout out to y'all and Winnie Fred, you know, I'm gonna pass it over to you, the GOAT on the, on, the, on the team with us. So thank you so much for being here as well. Cool, thank you so much Emerald for that shout out. I see y'all put the uh, best name for last. Um, just kidding, just kidding. Oh yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, 
Um, so cool. We're just going to keep it going here. Um, next slide, please. <laughs> Cool, so first up we have um, Adora. Congrats on graduating Adora. Um, I'm so sad to see our seniors go, um, but I mean, it's for the best, you know, um, gotta move on, progress, transition, and we are definitely so proud of you. Um, next slide, please. And last but not least um, on our staff here, we have Malik, um, who's also graduating this semester. Um, oh, I'm so sad to see you go Malik. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, it has to be done. We have to see you go, but um, we're gonna miss the both of you very much. And um, yeah, I wish you the best in, in all your future endeavors. Cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it back um, to Emerald here as we continue on through our programming. Thank you for that, Lenny Fred. Stephanie Malik, love you all. Thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure uh, getting to know you both, laughing with you, um, hearing about your quirks and, and your unpopular opinions. And like Lenny Fred said, we really wish the best for both of you and your post-grad endeavors. Y'all are about to be Spartan alum now, like uh, Armani and I. And so don't ever hesitate to reach out so that we can uh, serve you and support you along the way. Um, so now we're going to transition into recognizing one of our first programs um, here at the block. It's known as BAM, also known as Black Alliance of Mentor Program. And this is a program in its second year at the block. And we've had so many leaders come through and support our first year uh, freshmen as well as transfer students. Um, next slide, Armani. And so what is Black Alliance of Mentorship? The BAM program is here to provide guidance, resources, and community uh, to first year frost and transfer, really uh, with the hopes of uh, retaining and, and helping them matriculate uh, through the academic year as a Spartan. Um, so BAM gives our students the opportunity to learn from their peers and be connected with student leaders within the community. Um, and we credit the former student organization, the African American Society of Mentors, for providing this space and this opportunity for us to cultivate this program into what it is today. Um, so shout out to you all if you know of any um, African American Society mentor alum in the space. And I'm going to pass it to Winifred. Nice. So we are now going to be presenting our Mentor of the Year Award. Um, this award acknowledges the work of a peer mentor that has gone above and beyond their role as a peer mentor for this year. So if I could get a drum roll, please, as we transition to our next slide and reveal um, Jocelyn is... Um, Sorry, sorry, brain fart. Um, Jocelyn Iglehart, she is our peer mentor of the year. Congratulations, Jocelyn. This is my girl for real, the peanut butter to my jelly, jelly to my jam, um, all that and a bag of chips. So uh, um, congratulations again um, for the work that you've done. And yeah, if we could just, you know, uh, shout her out in the group chat, show a little bit of love. So this year she's done amazing work, not only um, um, as a mentor, but you know, helping build up this program during fall and winter. She took the time to provide insight on mentorship. On mentorship, uh, her direct work with Peer Connections brings feedback and perspective that is deeply appreciated and valued. Um, through her time here on the team, she's made us feel welcome. She's brought you know new and fresh ideas and passion. Uh, she's genuinely engaged with our collective and um, with with her strategic thinking as well. Uh, this year she was tasked to mentor multiple students. And in this process, she connected our students, her mentees and to the resources and right people to help. And so um, we appreciate you, Jocelyn, for your leadership and for your service and dedication um, and for being a leader on our team and within our um, BAM community. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it right back on to Emerald. Thank you. Thank you so much, Winnie Fred. And congrats, Jocelyn, for your award. And thank you for your dedication to BAM. Really, really strong, strong mentors. We're so fortunate to have you. Um, and now we're going to move on to highlight uh, participants in our new Black Spartan Institute program. 
Um, in summer 2020, the block put this together, the first new Black Spartan Institute. Uh, shout out to Jamal Williams, our past program director who helped to spearhead this event. Uh, the purpose of, of it is really to, to welcome in our new Black Spartans um, by connecting them with the larger Black Spartan community, as well as resources from different campus departments. Um, and you'll see in front of you a couple of our learning outcomes, really with the intention of building social capital, uh, building uh, some college readiness for students, and just making sure they're um, overall ready um, to start the academic year. And so our uh, past summer 2020 attendees, next slide, are here in front of you. Um, and we just want to say thank you, you all for being a part of the inaugural uh, first year ever New Black Spartan Institute on behalf of the block. Uh, thank you, Craig. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you, Micah. Uh, thank you, Sablo Wanong. Thank you, Muna. Thank you, Dontario. Thank you, Reginaldo. Thank you, Darius. Jordan, Denicia, Mohammed, Nayana, Asante, Vic, Genesis. There's so many of you all. Aaliyah, Kevin, Kyler, Chase, Sarah, Samuel, Kyra, Katira, Annabelle, Essence, Yosef, Osaman, Kai, Zaria, Kiana, Jayan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's more. Umani, I believe you just won an award. So shout out to you, Janithia, uh, Ty. Kevin, Michaela, Muna, Dee and Jolie, Deontay, also known as Monte, Daya, Jason, Michaela, Kiana, Jean, Tarina, Charles, Phyllis, Sierra, Jada, Anaya, Aaliyah, and Whitney. Uh, we're so fortunate to have you been in community with us. Um, and for those of you that are still here and have finished your first year, we hope that you're proud. This was a hard year for a lot of us. Um, and thank you for choosing San Jose State. Thank you for being in community with us in that program. Um, and I do also want to acknowledge if I pronounce your name wrong, so, so sorry, sincere apologies on my end. We just want to make sure that we say your name and we acknowledge you. Um, so appreciate you all being in community with us. Um, and this is our first cohort of students, right, in this program. So we just want to make sure that we acknowledge you all and say thank you. Um, Winnie Fred, do any of these names look familiar to you? Yes, a lot of those names actually looked uh, familiar to me. Um, yeah, um, we hope your first year experience was fruitful. And um, I look forward, I know our whole team, I know our community, we all look forward to meeting you in person one day. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and transition to the Black Scholars Floor. Uh, this year and beyond, we are building a stronger partnership with the Black Scholars Floor community. Um, I know some people are wondering, may not even know like what that is. So we're going to go ahead and give you a description here. Um, the Black Scholars Community is an open community designed to provide leadership, guidance, mentorship, community, and a space for those who are a part of or in support of the Black community at, um, here at San Jose State University. Um, so some of our, some of the goals include building stronger relationships, um, peer relationships with with other Black individuals um, within like the Black Scholars community here at San Jose State and just the San, the San Jose community in general. Um, on the floor, you know, you learn about campus resources, both academic and personal, as well as, as how to utilize them. Um, you get to explore like Black identity, what that means to you, gain a better understanding of your own, your own identity and um, kind of realizing that Black people aren't a monolith and that there's so many um, like different types of um, Black individuals, um, as well as like getting knowledge about uh, issues facing um, the community and also developing um, skills that will take you um, so far academically, um, academically and uh, personally as well. Um, and me and myself, I personally stayed on the Black Scholars for my freshman year. Um, and I also ended up working there my uh, second year as well. So um, Black Scholars has a special place in this little heart of mine. Um, and we just wanna give a, uh, some quick shout outs to um, the RA resident assistant, Akil Green, know that man personally, um, so much love for him, um, as well as Anaya Nichols, Aaron Jones, Jada Jinwright, Janae Jones, and Adonis D. Arrington. Also wanna apologize if I um, butchered any of those names at all. And once again, um, special shout out to Akil Green, the resident advisor of the Black Scholars Floor for putting in two years as an RA on this floor. Um, we appreciate you, we love you, and you know, thank you for all your hard work. And I'll go ahead and pass it back to Emily. 
Man, I really wish I had a Black Scholars Forum on the time that I was at San Jose State, but I'm so happy to know that this is an opportunity that we have for our incoming and continuing students um, to experience. So uh, shout out to you all for living in that space this year. Um, now we're going to transition to our Block Awards. So many of you uh, in the community submitted nominations regarding those categories. We want to thank everyone um, that went ahead and and you know, put those inf uh, fillers out. You know, you might've bet on yourself. You might've, you know, wrote a nomination for your peer or faculty and staff member that you appreciate or one of our great student athletes and the results are in. So let's start off with the Mastermind Award. So the Graduate Student Award is also known as the Mastermind Award. Um, and it's re in recognition of a black graduate student who has demonstrated some significant involvement to the betterment of the black and African-American community here at San Jose State. This year, we would like to present our Mastermind Award to Christian Webb. Shout out to you, Christian, if you're here in the building. Christian has exemplified excellence as a student, as an athlete, and through his service to the community. Uh, his nominee nominators wrote, currently as a graduate student, uh, Christian is enrolled um, in my graduate level independent study course to work on his master's thesis in interdisciplinary studies. This course thus far, he has identified a thesis topic and presented at a doc Black doctoral network conference with an entitled presentation of Becoming, the Rise of College Athlete Activists During Black Lives Matter Movement. This was a profound opportunity as he was able to share his interests and use his platform as a college athlete to promote social change. Uh, Christian is also committed to community service. In the fall of 2020, as a new graduate student, he served as an intern and volunteer with the African American Community Service Agency. Shout out to you all. Um, the agency's mission is to focus on education, health and wellness, economic development, social services, and family resources. We aim to provide well-rounded support to the community through our memberships and client services. So through his internship, Christian was able to learn and provide service and support according to their mission. For example, he delivered uh, personal uh, preparedness equipment, also known as PPE, to local community members. Christian continues to grow in education, service, and leadership uh, through lending his voice to platforms that speak to education, social justice, and education, uh, like in uh, the sports conversation to change. Where are we now? The state of college athletics in 2021. Congrats to Christian for being uh, our uh, nominee and uh, recognized today. Shout out to you. Ooh, congratulations, Christian. Um, a lot of great things said about this individual. So um, next we have the new kid on the block ward. Uh, we have two new kids that we will honor, one transfer and one frosh. Uh, this award is to commemorate our community of first year students. Um, the two first year frosh and transfer students are being recognized for their work in the community, has good academic standing and have been adding to um, San Jose State University as a new black Spartan. Starting with transfers, Today, we will be honoring Denisha Webb. Uh, Denisha Webb came to SJSU as a transfer student and immediately became involved in a Black organization, Black Honor Society. Um, Denisha is an incredibly smart, talented, and dedicated new Spartan that has contributed tremendously to Black Honor Society as an, out as an outreach coordinator. Committed to making the most out of her college experience while also taking an active role to help her Black community, she has helped host many different BHS events from career exploration and professional development programs um, to even fun game nights. Uh, BHS is honored to have her as a board member and looks forward to seeing all the incredible things coming her way. Uh, Denisha is also involved with Diasporic People's Writing Collective organization as the Intracollegiate Alliance strategist and was also one of the winners for a letter to your past self writing contest. Um, in addition, she is part of the research team conducting research on why the Black Scholars Floor has the lowest GPAs on campus and what her team can provide um, the students with to assist them during their time at SJSU. Um, she's a great asset to any team. Uh, she's on and has a um, vivacious personality that makes it so fun to be around her. Denisha has accomplished so much despite the times we are living in and being new to a school that she has yet to attend in person. Um, congratulations, Denisha. Uh, shout out you. Um, honestly, uh, overall great person, great individual. I remember um, when I first started getting like emails from her and I was like, where has she been? Like, you know, sending emails and always conversing and always just so involved that she's been here for so long. So um, shout out you for making an impact in our community and congratulations again. 
Emerald. Wow, we have some amazing students here at San Jose State. I see y'all. Up next, we will be awarding our Outstanding Black Student Athlete Award. This student athlete has demonstrated outstanding leadership traits, community involvement, and her activism within or local to the San Jose State community. And so without further ado, Armani, next slide. Oh, looks like we're a little ahead of where we are in our script. So we are gonna pause and double back. Y'all know how this goes. So we have another first year student award kid on the block. And we are happy, happy, happy to award that to first year student Sienna Brewer. Sienna, I know you're in the building. I've seen some of your messages come through. Shout out to you. And what I wanna say about uh, Sienna is that she uh, is a first year student that we have seen often uh, in our block parties, Black History Month programs, Black Women's Forum programs. Um, and it's so great to see a first year student involved from day one um, and, and being encouraged to build community and connect with some of our speakers. So thank you so much, Sienna. And congratulations on being recognized as a new kid on the block. All right, so now we're going to pivot and go ahead and announce the Outstanding Black Student Athlete Award. And for this award, we have Caleb Simmons from Men's Basketball that we will be honoring today. Caleb has demonstrated leadership. Um, next slide, Armani. Caleb has a dis 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 uh, demonstrated leadership through his membership on the San Jose State University basketball team. He was able to witness uh, his efforts to create a social change group called SJ Speaks Up. This, though the student athlete led group, uh, they were able to raise awareness and educate students and communities on the importance of race and racism, uh, raise money by drawing interest and financial donations for the Black Lives Matter movement, encourage and register student athletes to vote during the 2020 year. His educational strivings include his progress toward degree efforts in the Department of Kinesiology. Uh, it is through this effort that uh, the person recognizing and nominating Caleb would like to serve as his site supervisor for the internship portion of his degree program. Hence the Institute for Study of Sport, Social Society and Social Change, internship for academic credit. Simmons was able to support uh, the Institute's pillars of research programs and education through his works efforts to support their educational programs programs that was inclusive of the first Institute Sport Change and Social Change Conference. In addition, he participated in a student research project and presentation on enacting change with sport activism. Through this project, he shared his pathway to sport activism and his desire and passion to use his platform as a Black student athlete to encourage social change. This was a great method to share his efforts and experience as a member of SJSU's Student Athlete Advisory Committee, also known as SAC. Uh, which has athletic governance and beyond as a member of the Mountain West Athletic Conference SAC board. Lastly, Caleb has continued his leadership through his community service involvement. Again, his effort through voter registration are just one example of service through civic engagement. He has also worked with local community organizations like the African American Community Service Agency through using his voice um, through speaking engagements and through lending a helping hand by distributing PPE to families and community members during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Congrats, Caleb. Um, thank you for your service and for leading the way. All right, Caleb, you're getting your flowers here in the chat. Make sure that you all that have already been rewarded and recognized are reading the chat. There's so much love, so much black joy there. Uh, so definitely take a look at what folks are putting down. Uh, we're going to pivot to our Black Faculty and Staff Award, uh, which is in recognition of a Black faculty or staff member uh, that um, has really uh, made a notable difference in the lives of Black and African African American students. Armani, next slide. So we also want to make sure that you know that the block staff are not uh, eligible for this award. And we're so happy because that means that we get to honor folks like Jamal Williams, um, who has been instrumental in not only the name change of the block, but our strategic plan and our programs and really setting a, a strong foundation for what is today for the block. So uh, brother, colleague, friend, so happy for you. Thank you for your service. Um, and you deserve all the flowers and all the love that folks are giving you in the chat. Um, Y'all give Jamal some love, please.
Awesome. So our last award is a, a new award coming out of the block. Armani and I thought it would be great to highlight students uh, that are really building the block. And what this means, Armani, next slide, uh, or unless, don't go to it, unless we already have our nominee uh, listed. Got it. So this Building the Block Award is in recognition of a student who has demonstrated some significant active involvement within our community um, and has made some significant contributions to the campus-wide social diversity inclusion efforts. Um, and additionally, this award can be given to students who have made a significant impact to the surrounding community, not just San Jose State. Um, and we're hoping that we see more students um, who will be nominated for this award because we know that so many of you are doing some great things um, inter internal to our community, but also external. External. So go ahead and let's honor and recognize uh, our winner. And today it's Jocelyn Jones Tremell. Uh, Jocelyn is currently serving in Associated Students as the Director of Sustainability, y'all, holding it down. Um, so proud of you, Jocelyn. So thankful uh, to have met you um, in your last year and, and really wanting just to say congratulations to you and all the work that you're doing in Associated Students. Go ahead and give her your flowers. So much love in the chat. This is beautiful. Awesome. Yes, yes. All the all the greats. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, you all, for uh, just being here and listening to uh, who we are recognizing out of the block. And, and thank you so much for contributing to those nominations because we could not have done it without you. We know there's so much great talent and great work being done. Um, and this is a pivotal point in our program where we want to highlight um, and be uh, 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 amplified um, our student organizations, who we call Emoja, um, as a part of a coalition of Black student organizations here at San Jose State who are committed to serving Black students in partnership with a center like ours, The Block. Um, what is Emoja? I'm going to share a little bit about what that is so you all know. Armani, next slide. So Umoja is really the first principle of Kwanzaa. It stresses the importance of togetherness for family and the community. And so our Black student organizations here um, at San Jose State work individually and collectively throughout the academic year to enhance and instill values like leadership, unity, identity, and cultural expression um, in the Black Spartan community. And we're, we're so great to, to have you all. Some of you are our most longest standing Black organizations uh, from, from the moment that I know I stepped on campus and even for uh, our elders who are uh, Spartan alum, even before years prior to Armani and I have joined the community. You all have been here and you've been thriving. Um, and we're so fortunate to give you space today to share with the community what you've been doing this academic year, uh, what you're most proud of, and also uh, what your hopes are maybe for the future post pandemic when it's a little safer for us to gather. And we also are excited for you all that have graduating seniors to highlight and um, announce them. So we're gonna kick it off to Habesh Student Association. Hello, Arsimo, welcome. Hi. So sorry. <laughs> I think you guys can see me, right? Oh, okay, cool. Yes, we can see you. Hey, y'all. I'm the president of HSA. Um, I think we can go on the next slide. <clears throat> so our mission or purpose is to just like share our community with our Eritrean and Ethiopian community and as well as like other cultures in um, the diaspora with San Jose State University. I think it's like super important being like a first generation student on campus. It's kind of hard when like our parents haven't really experienced like the college experience or just um, attended school in the States. So um, my main goal and like my whole orbs goal is always just to be like, kind of like provide like a sisterhood and just understand or brotherhood of like friendship and just community. <laughs> and then um, I think like the main thing we're proud of this academic year is just kind of like staying on, on top of it with like our, so sorry, I don't know what happened, but um, social media it's been really hard to kind of like stay in touch through zoom just because like everyone's experiencing zoom fatigue so we've tried to like make social media really fun posting like different like brands and people that are motivational to us and just artists that are Eritrean or Ethiopian um and yeah the next slide 
Um, so, so far what we've learned this year is um, we understood like going into a pandemic was super difficult for everyone. And with the political climate that we're dealing with in Eritrea and Ethiopia right now, it's very overwhelming as a student and just to be in the States and not really be able to do anything back home. So um, we thought being vulnerable and kind of just like providing a safe space for students to talk uh, was super important. And um, we also learned like small victories is super important for like our growth, especially on campus. And hopefully we will be able to bring in new members. I know school's about to be in person uh, this upcoming fall, but we're really curious to see like how things will work as far as like org events. And then graduating board member is me, but I will be graduating this upcoming fall. And I've been a member of HSA for all four years at San Jose State. So it's been a really cool experience uh, going through all these little, like it was like an emotional roller coaster, honestly. I went from like being a board member to president, then just like a co-president. So yeah, it was super cool. Honestly, I'm really like happy I've been able to go through all of this with everyone and meeting all of you guys as well. Um, right. well, I can jump right ahead. You can um, jump in? Okay, go ahead. Um, so my name is Summer. I'm the Activities and Events Coordinator for Black Honor Society, also hoping to be for the coming school year. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about what Black Honor Society does. Uh, next slide, please. So real quick, uh, what the purpose of Black Honor Society is to build a collective and united academic and community-driven Black student body at San Jose State University. We know that because Black students are only 3% of the population, a lot of times we might be overlooked when university, the SJSU is considering different initiatives and things of that sort. So we also, we always wanna equip our members and the Black student body with as many resources on campus available as much as possible. Uh, next slide, please. So some of our accomplishments this spring are, uh, we were able to establish a stronger presence on campus. Um, I think most of you guys maybe have not even heard of BHS before this year. So we're really happy that we were able to spread the word and more people were able to get to know more about us. Uh, we also worked with a lot of black owned subscription boxes to offer you guys um, student discount codes and also just just give back to black owned businesses. And if you guys go to our Instagram page right now, a lot of those discount codes, discount codes still are functioning. So please go ahead and use them if you're um, uh, just to give back to the community. Um, another thing is we started a, diff, a new scholarship program where we post a scholarship every Monday. And so it makes it really easy for black students to have one space to go to, uh, if, to get and just get that money and keep going. And thing is we were really able to establish our branding and launch a website and podcast that we hope to kind of highlight. And uh, you guys will hear more about that um, as next year. Uh, next slide, please. So just some examples of some of our scholarship posts and this is what it would look like on our Instagram. We also have a highlight where you can click on that has all the scholarship posts. So you can go to that for your convenience. Next slide, please. And this is a little bit what our website and podcast looks like. The name of our podcast is Power Of. And like the screenshot says, come soon, coming soon. <laughs> Be on the lookout. And now to highlight our graduates. So our first graduate is uh, our president, Rena. Right now she is in class, but um, I'll pass on the warm wishes over to her. Um, she is an MIS major. And fun fact, she saw Kobe Bryant in Disneyland. So that's pretty cool. And then our second graduate is, she is our marketing director. She was an integral part in growing our uh, org. And she is actually in the Zoom right now. So say hi to her <laughs> if you'd like to. She was part of the track and field team for three years on campus. So yeah. And so moving forward, 
Um, some changes that we want to implement in the future is um, right now we have weekly events and we wanted to cut it down to bi-weekly, maybe even cut down our event time to over one hour and a half max, just to, sorry, um, I saw many friends comment, that was funny. Uh, so we wanted to cut down our events just to um, kind of guarantee more consistent attendance and so that can make it more for students to attend our events and other uh, black orgs and other orgs in general. Um, another thing that we wanted to keep is the discount codes. Um, we want to keep working with black owned businesses and we want to keep giving them a voice any way that we can. So that's something that we're gonna uh, keep pursuing in the future. Uh, we want also want to increase our social media presence because we're not sure how exactly we're gonna transition um, next year. So we're hoping to kind of keep social media as our main Oh no, Summer should be back in just a moment. If there's anyone else from BHS in the building, do you wanna finish this last slide on behalf of your org? I can jump right in real quick. Um, I was hoping she would be able to make it, um, but I'm not sure all that she had planned to say uh, for this slide, but yeah, some changes I know they have um, planned is uh, podcast episodes. We actually have um, one that's already been recorded and another one set to record soon. So we'll have that launching. Um, we'll have some stress management opportunities. Obviously, we're going to continue um, giving opportunities for networking and increase our social media presence, which we've been working on um, with Instagram as well as LinkedIn. Um, it will also be offering more discount codes and hopefully just improve our uh, attendance rates. So, yeah, that's what we have planned. Oh, I see Summer is back. I don't know if she has anything else to include for this slide. I'm so sorry. I just realized that the Zoom suddenly kicked me out. Um, I really don't know what you guys last heard. So um, someone could kind of catch me up a little bit. I was just mentioning some of the plans that we had for the future. That's all summer. You're good. Oh, yeah. OK. So it uh, looks like I heard with social media. Yeah. So um, thank you, Bria and Denisha. So uh, like I mentioned before, um we SJSU did mention that going back in person but we don't know how uh, quickly that will happen so we want to keep using social media as a main channel to connect with our students uh, we want to keep working with black owned businesses to offer you guys discount codes uh, we want to keep networking want to keep spreading the word out there about BHS maybe even beyond SJSU and keep growing as an organization uh, we want to keep working on our podcast and highlight that um, and a big part of our organization. And another thing that we wanted to highlight for next year is stress management, because we know there's a lot of uncertainty in the year about COVID, about transitioning, um, even about the government, a lot of civil unrest. So we know that anxiety and stress levels are all time high right now. And so we definitely want to emphasize um, offering stress And um, that's it. If you guys would like to stay connected with BHS, here are uh, all of our social media accounts, and you can also scan the QR code to add our calendar of events. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Summer and Black Honor Society for your work. We're going to go in, uh, because this is a family affair, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to go into a quick music break, um, and then we will get back to celebrating our Umoja Black Student Orgs. Uh, so grab, grab, grab water, uh, take, go to the bathroom, do whatever you got to do, and we will welcome you back here shortly.
All right, so we're going to go back to our presentation. And I would like to invite Chris up and to turn off mute to talk a little bit about what the Black Male Collective has been uh, doing and got going on this academic year. Are you here with us, Chris? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Thanks for joining us. Hey, this is Lou. Introduce myself. Um, my name is Chris Okanji. I'm a senior at San Jose State and the president of the Black Male Collective here at San Jose State. Um, next slide. Um, just wanted to kind of throw a little numbers out there, kind of know it's kind of being dead horse. You guys understand the importance of it, but just to throw it out there, um, at San Jose State University, um, as the enrollment number of 2024, 2020, out of approximately 30,000 students, the African American population was about 1,000 students. This is about 3% of the total population of San Jose State. Um, in general, when it comes to men, we make up about 4.8% in the population, while women make up about 5.51%. About With these numbers in mind, is say we can estimate about black males, the population approximately makes up about 1.3% as sound they stay alone. This means that African American males and people in general are the minority as sound they state. So with these numbers in mind, um, whether it's the majority or the minority, um, any group has a voice in any situation or aspect. Um, and we, the Black Male Collective, um, in order to increase the volume of our voice, we believe in organization camarader and camaraderie is needed. So within that, we believe that for our mission statement and purpose, we, the Black Male Collective, are an inclusive organization that strives to create a safe space that, that promotes all acceptance of all forms of black males while working towards black excellence in all fields. Um, for example, social, academic, professional, and health. Um, this example only some fields. We are a brotherhood focused on the betterment of our culture while simultaneously supporting other campuses and organizations. Organizations on campus, excuse me. So next slide. Um, so this has been done this semester because I know it's been kind of hard with Zoom and everything. It's been done over Zoom. We tried to create um, conversational pieces going towards more current events um, that highlighted kind of controversial, controversial topics um, while creating a safe space to have those conversations. One I wanted to highlight is a conversation we had about um, Black and Asian solidarity. Um, this conversation was kind of talking more about the rise in Asian violence and how the media was kind of promoting um, anti-blackness and showing more images of black people just attacking more Asian people. We had that conversation kind of have a safe space to 
talk about more the aspects that was going into that and how can we as um, black people and black males on campus or off campus help support more um, unity within the Asian and black community. Um, next slide. We also created a uh, Discord, which is a digital community. And um, we just during the pandemic, just because we kind of felt that we didn't have a sense of like, way to kind of get more in touch with um, the black males on campus. Um, Discord is an online platform where you can do voice, text or video chat or create um, a large amount of events. Uh, next slide. Um, we also like to promote our alumni and also try to other members that are former members um, and we try to keep in touch with them. This was an event um, that was a luncheon event hosted and sponsored by the Bay Area Black Journal Society. This is Chuck to the left. Um, he's our former president. Um, he won a scholarship from Dr. Harry Edwards, kind of highlighting his act academic achievements. And I believe he also, the scholarship included about $2,000 of uh, money towards his um, academics. So with all that said, this is kind of what makes up the Black Milk Collective. Um, we are a little smaller within the population at San Jose State. So it's important for us to kind of come together, promote that camaraderie and have a safe space that we can actually speak on everything we're going on. And I see our money talking about the Daishika. I had to throw that on, you know, just for the culture, also the pendant. Come on, brother. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Chris, uh, for just sharing the work that you all have done this academic year and for giving us some data to, to really think about um, the state of our Black men and, and how important your organization is here uh, to us as Spartans. So thank you. Erin, um, are you here in the building? Yes, I am here and I'm awesome. ready. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Erin Grimes, and I'm here on behalf of BCM Black Campus Ministries. <laughs> All right, you can go to the next slide. All right, so the mission for BCM is in response to God's love, grace, and truth, the purpose of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship USA is to establish and advance psychologists and universities, witnessing communities of students and faculty who follow Jesus as Savior, and Lord, growing in love for God, God's word, God's people of every ethnicity and culture, and God's purposes in the world. And just like a little fun fact, or a little tidbit, is that BCM is under InterVarsity, so like we're under their umbrella. So their mission uh, goes side and side with ours. Thank you. Okay, accomplishments. So we all know this year has been a rough one, this academic year, but we're all striving and we all got through it, thankfully. So one of the great things I think we did was we stayed consistent um, with God's grace. Every Tuesday we had something to prevent to the people. Uh, for this group, we decided to do like every other week. One week we decided to do Zoom and the other week we would do Instagram. So we were able to go back and forth between that. And that was really good. Um, a big accomplishment that I was proud of was we were able to hold a training on difficult, on like how to go about difficult conversations from a Christian approach. Um, this was led by a BCM president or former BCM president that recently graduated from TSU. His name is Aaron Booker. Uh, oh wait, I think so. Yeah. Um, we were also able to connect with InterVarsity, our other InterVarsity group on campus um, and complete a game night. We have actually been trying to connect with them for a long time now, so I'm glad Zoom, that made it easier to do because sometimes scheduling on campus would be difficult when we were both hold our Bible studies at night. So yeah, um, we were also able to conquer, uh, we also conquered new waters, even though things didn't go uh, as planned, we were able to stick in there and complete the task at hand. Um, this is new, you know, a new territory for all of us. And one thing we did was that. So congratulations, everyone. Also, we were able to stay true to our roots. We kept it in the family, kept it family oriented. We remain a judgmental free space, which is what BCM is known for. So I'm glad we were able to continue that. And we also kept it black, meaning that we still, you know, this time was hard, especially for our race. Uh, we were able to do some Bible studies, have some good discussions on what's happening in the world. 
things such as that. And also what I mean by keeping it family oriented is we were still able to have that good bond. People were able to share, you know, the struggles they were going to, and I'm glad that they feel comfortable, you know, sharing it within the circle. All right, next slide, please. Thank you. So one of the main conferences, the big one that we went to was still here. Um, we were able to go to two, but this one stood out the most. So this conference was held for us, by us, still here. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, going to conferences always gets our energy up and gets us ready for whatever is coming at us next. They always energize us. The conferences weren't held in person, but they still did the job that they needed to do. It gave us some answers to the questions such as, where is God in the midst of our suffering? Will things ever change? And what is my role in this fight? Is God real? Is he good? You know, still here was definitely able to uh bring some healing and understanding also some questions to be seen within this difficult time for us. So next slide, please. Thank you. Some lessons learned. No, I did not get these from Instagram. I know y'all see them probably every other day. I'm sorry, <laughs> but these were really some lessons <laughs> that we learned. So um, one thing is to make time for God. You know, I know like we have a lot of um, demanding things amongst us, you know, especially as college students. I know we have a lot of deadlines and other stuff to do. So yeah, we just want to make sure that we put him first. Um, try not to overwork yourself and cause a burnout. I know like you're not at school, but, and I guess this, this can happen while we're physically there, but it's just so easy working from home, you know, that it's kind of like, when do I get a break? So, yeah um make time for your family you know your loved ones you're in the house with them not everyone but some people you know so it's definitely good to make time and be with them because they're going through it as well um take a break when needed uh just goes like hand in hand with the don't don't burn yourself out uh make time for yourself you know try not to keep yourself off the list do something that's fun um you guys are able to help hold a uh, spa date, like, you know, a self, um, what's it called? I don't know, but just stuff for ourselves. And I attended that and we put on masks and whatnot. So, you know, you could do little things like that. Um, yeah, self-care, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, stay consistent. That's one of the things I listed before that I was most proud of. We were able to stay consistent throughout this whole ordeal. Um, also to check on people and that it is okay to say no because there was a lot being thrown at us. So, yeah hopes for the future. So getting back to our regularly scheduled events, um, normally we're able to host a year's end of the year service, a talent show, serve good food, make random bonding experiences, just like after Bible study, like you want to go and hang out or something, but because of the circumstances, we couldn't do that. So hopefully when we get back on campus, we can get some normalcy you know we know not everything's going to be like back to normal but just you know a little tidbit of what we had before so um once we return to campus hope we'll be revamping things um we'll be able to return to the somewhat normal like i said before and this can help us in gaining strength again within the organization um we had some people come to our events but you know there's always room for improvement but like nothing's like being on campus so when we get back there we'll be coming back strong and full force and my last one is implementing even better an even better way to organize um organization is key i have some org i have good organization skills for the most part but this is my first time i was the president over this board so i got this semester actually denisha she gave me some great tips and tidbits on how to uh, make even you know a better way to go about organizing so I hope to implement that and to pass that down to the new board next year yeah I think that's it oh yeah from all of us to all of you we want to say thank you you go to the next slide yeah that's it thanks guys Awesome. Thank you so much, Erin. Love the lessons. Love the visuals. We're, we're so fortunate to have you all as a student organization serving our community. Um, and last but definitely not least, we'd like to invite Christian uh, to come off mute to talk a little bit about Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated.
Hey, what's up, everyone? Can y'all see me? Hello? Yeah, we can see you, okay. Okay, awesome. Um, I'll, be here, I'll be here to talk about Capital Cybertronia Incorporated. So in case you didn't know, um, our motto is a every field of human endeavor. Now, a couple of our founding principles are uniting accomplishment of culture, patriotism, and honor in a bond of fraternity, um, encouraging honorable achievement in every field of human endeavor to promote the spiritual, social, intellectual, and moral welfare of its members, um, assisting in the aims and purposes of colleges and universities, and to inspire service in the public interest. Now, currently on the yard, we have Jerome, that is our poll mark. Then we have Dante Brown, he is our JVP, also the treasurer. We have Hiram Johnson, who is just our keeper of records. <coughs> And you me, I'm the alumni member. And then last but not least, um, we couldn't make this happen without him. He has a tremendous job in the community and that is Milan Ballantin, our chapter advisor. Now that's our motto. It's uh, achievement in every field of human endeavor. We don't wanna be great in this thing. We wanna achieve in everything that we do, whether it's helping people, whether it's being in the community, whether it's your classwork, whether it's research, um, everything that we do, we do it at a high standard. And that's something that we hold very near and dear to our heart. Now, a couple of the events and activities that we have performed, um, the AACSA Book of the Month, you know, we love to read to the kids. <laughs> um, always have a good time doing that. And then when the census was going on, we actually put out a video talking about how important it is for everyone to participate in the census. You know, we wanna get our numbers, we wanna be accounted for. And we wanna make sure that the government dollars in the community actually go to the correct people. And then every semester we do hold meet the news. Um, we definitely wanna get engaged with the campus community, get to know everybody, let people know that we're here, we're on the yard. And if you need anything, so just let us know. And then AACSA cares. Now this is important to us um, during COVID-19. Um, our fraternity did a ton of work in the community. And when I say a ton of work, I mean, we, we were out here driving semi trucks, picking up food, picking up boxes. Um, making sure people had what they need to really uh, get through the pandemic. You know, we're almost at the end of it. So uh, we definitely care about that a lot. And then Safe Halloween, that's an event that we participate in every year down at the African-American Community Service Agency. And we give out candy to the kids and we just try and make sure that the community has a very safe Halloween. You know, we don't want any kids to have any bad experiences or worry about being abducted. So if people need someone to walk with them, we'll walk with them outside of uh, handing out candy and passing out goods to the kids, you know, getting dressed up, having a good time on Halloween. Uh, yo, yo. And next we have our awards. Now this is just a couple of the things that, you know, we've done over the course of our time here. Uh, best academic by council for the MPHC, best in academics for fraternity, um, outstanding philanthropy and fundraising program, outstanding risk and harm reduction program, Got to stay safe out here. And um, outstanding service. And then we also got the uh, best in council for MPAC. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, those are the a couple of our awards that we have. So y'all can see a couple of the, uh, the accolades that we've collected as a fraternity and as an organization here at San Jose State University. You know, we want to make San Jose State look as good as possible. Shout out to the both, um, yeah. Oh, yep. So if you look to the left, that's uh, Dante and Rome <laughs> getting ready to do some community service. This is the real talk event that we had discussing domestic violence. We tried to invite as many people as we can. And then we had cooking with Sean. Uh, Sean is a, I want to say a five-star chef down in Atlanta. And he was throwing it down in the kitchen. So we had a cool little event where uh, we put together a Zoom. We put together a cooking class. And we didn't want to just put together a cooking class where you got to go buy like a bunch of gourmet steaks and things like that. We want to make sure it was student friendly. So, you know, if you have a date night or something, you want to whip some up, you know. Now you got the skill set to do that. Um, and then on the bottom right, that was just the flyer from our Meet the Noob events. Um, we do that every semester. So, yeah. And then these are a couple of our hopes for the uh, future. Ooh, back one more. Appreciate it. Um, so we hope to continue to bring in more members. Here at San Jose State University, especially with the pandemic, it's been kind of hard to in contact with a lot of our Black, black community members, um, Black students. So we're doing the best that we can to, uh, to get our numbers up and let people know that we're here. 
and show people how to get involved in our community. Whether they decide to get involved with the fraternity or not, it's up to them. But most of all, we want people to be involved and we want people to commit to service in the community, commit to servicing our people and commit to being a better version of themselves. So we hope the community to, to we hope to continue to achieve that and, uh, and help in our community and uh, have as close regular school year as possible. You know, as uh, people start getting vaccinated, things start opening up more. Uh, you know, some people might throw some summer parties, a little summer jams. You know, y'all come through, have a great time with the news. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, shout out to Dante, uh, JVP, that's the man, runs the whole entire Western province for the undergraduates. So yeah, he, he gets it done. But his major is political science and he also has an African-American studies major. He's from LA and he will be graduating this semester. Shout out to Dante. And then shout out to my, my ace, Hi, Hi Johnson. He's not here with us right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and show him some love. Um, he's doing his thing and I'm incredibly proud of him. I'm proud of his achievements and I'm super excited to see he graduated this semester. He's got an extremely high GPA. He's holding it down and they're both a real representation of black excellence. Nice, thank you so much, Christian. And thank you to all um, our student org representatives. Uh, we would now like to take this opportunity to thank all of the student organizations that have engaged um, in our program this evening. Uh, we are so proud of all of you and all the work you've done um, and you know, continuing to um, engage and serve our Black Spartan community here at SJSU. Um, your efforts do not go unnoticed. Um, emphasize, emphasis on does not go unnoticed. Um, thank you again um, to all our student orgs. And Emerald. Awesome. We have had an extremely great evening and um, we don't want to have you leave uh, us in community without sharing what we got planned for you in store next. So we wanted to share some upcoming programs at the block um, and we hope that you will join us and register using our link tree, uh, link tree link and Armani, if you can go ahead or Winnie Fred and drop that in the chat for folks. Um, so tomorrow we hope that you will join us uh, for our Tuesday talks with Dr. Andrew Carter. He has done some great ethnography research and would like to share uh, that with folks. And he is an assistant professor in the Department of Public Health um, and Recreation. And so we're excited that he'll be joining us tomorrow at 4 30 uh, pst so if you're interested in connecting with faculty um, wanting to hear about their research um, have a q a and talk about career aspirations you definitely don't want to miss this event tomorrow um, in addition uh, tomorrow right after that event we will be hosting in collaboration with uh, caps uh, the Black Spartan uh, student support uh, and processing space. We know that there's been so much that has been happening. Um, we know that the, the Derek Chavon trial verdict came out last week in the mur murder of George Floyd. Um, and right as folks were uh, on the edge of their seats and were trying to, to, to be grounded in what that uh, trial verdict would give us, we, we have learned that there's been a continuous uh, violence against our black youth and, and, and black bodies. And so we, we wanna pause um, knowing that it's midterm season really just to make sure that folks are doing okay, um, that you have space to check in and tend to you um, and to think about how to push forward uh, for the next couple of weeks. And then also as we await uh, to hear the sentencing on that trial and really uh, move forward with hoping that we seek some justice in those lives that have been lost uh, now and before. And uh, this is a, a hard time for all of us. We're still in a pandemic. so. We we, we encourage you students, please register, please, please uh, bring your friends, definitely make space just to check in on you. And we hope that we see you tomorrow. Uh, next slide. Awesome. Uh, this week, we got some more programs coming at you. Uh, Ariane, uh, our peer success ambassador, will be hosting uh, the second to the last edition of the Black Spartan Talk Show. Uh, this week, we're talking about sustainability and Blackness. Um, and so if you're interested in wanting to be a part of the conversation, please use our link tree to register. If you want to engage as a speaker, you can also use our link tree to register and join in on the conversation. Uh, this will be uh, live via YouTube on Wednesday at four. So definitely tap in, listen to the to the conversation and contribute. Um, and then our very own Winnie Fred and Ariane will be hosting an end of the year Black party. You sure you don't want to miss it. We're doing this in partnership with the Black Male Collective, um, as well as 
uh, Black Student Union. So you definitely want to come join students. They're going to be studying, playing games, building community along the way, and just ending the semester with a little bit of Black joy before finals. Next slide. Uh, we want to give students the opportunity to connect with Dr. B, also known as Dr. Patience Bryant, in a blackity black chat. Uh, so students, we are asking you all to come join her on uh, May 11th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Really just to share your voice, your concerns, your joy about what it really feels like to be a black Spartan. Um, and we, we hope that you, know, you will join her and welcome her as a new uh, staff member to the community. She's the new director for Black and African American Equity. So she She's working very closely uh, with the block and, and making sure that we're serving you all as student orgs, that we're serving you all as a student, and as well as serving our Black faculty and staff. And so definitely, if you can make time, uh, please join us for that combo. She's going to be having a listen ear and an open candid conversation uh, to your experience. So definitely, definitely tap in. Um, and to our graduating seniors in the building, we don't want you to miss this opportunity to sign up for the virtual SJSU Black graduation celebration, uh, taking place on May 29th from 1 to 2.30 PST. You can also use the link tree in our bio on Instagram um, or just read your emails, anything that I've sent you to go ahead and register and uh, sign up to participate. Um, share that registration link with your family, your friends, your village, your sponsors, anyone that you want in the building on that day to celebrate you. Um, and we're so thankful for the Black faculty and staff uh, that are a part of that planning committee with us. Um, to, to make this experience a great one virtually. So shout out to you all, congrats in advance, and we hope that you will register and be a part of this great Black Excellence event. Um, I think that's all we got for you all today, but we just as a Block family and staff want to send huge thank you, one, to all of you that are in the building virtually with us through this program that have contributed to our nomination process. Uh, we want to thank our nomination committee, um, those of our faculty and staff members that allow for us to hold space with Armani and select the folks that we recognize today. Um, we definitely want to thank our campus partners, Peer Connections, uh, for our liaisons, uh, Jocelyn and Carter. Uh, thank Thank you so much for joining our, our Block staff this year. Uh, we definitely want to thank Housing uh, for holding down the Block Scholars Forum, making sure that Black students have a space where they can be in community and a living learning space. Um, and then we want to thank student involvement for supporting all of our Black student organizations today, those here represented and those that couldn't join us today, especially our National Panhellenic Council. Uh, shout out to you all for all the achievements that you have made this academic career um, and, and journey. We know it's been a hard one. And shout out again to the coalition of Umoja. Uh, we need you. We love you. We see you. We are you. We appreciate you all being here today. Um, Winnie Fred, any last words for the people? Um, just shout out everyone. Shout out everyone. I'm so glad um, we were all able to, you know, come here and be in community with one another. I'm sorry. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, all the events we have coming up for the rest of the school year and, you know, the new school year that's coming up and um, what that will um, entail for um, all of us. And congrats to, again to all our graduating seniors. Wish you all the best. Um, yeah, I think that's it for me. Awesome. Congrats to everyone in the semester strong. Let us know if we can be a part of any of your journey for the rest of the couple of weeks. And we hope that you join us in our upcoming events. Peace and have a great evening. Thank you, thank you. We love the love in the chat. And Armani, feel free to cue some music as folks are sending love in the chat and heading out. Where you wanna be